In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a, a scatter plot with a line of best fit using Google Sheets. So, so here's my data. Um, this is the temperature of a number of days and the number of uh, bottles of water sold at a venue. So what you do first is highlight all your data and, and include the titles because they'll automatically pop into your chart. If you do forget them, you can put them in later, but uh, it's easiest just to do them from the beginning. So we want to go to insert and chart. And we want a scatter plot. Now, if the scatter plot doesn't come up automatically, this is where you could change it to different kind. A lot of times you'll see the um, like a histogram or bar chart come up automatically, but we're looking for uh, the scatter plot. So that's the one that we want here. So now um, a few things. Uh, if you wanted to um, see this is it automatically grabbed those titles here. Uh, so if you wanted your title to be something different you could edit it here um, of course it's got bottles of water sold and there's a scale every uh, block is 100 and of course you can change those things too and temperatures here now um, I haven't drawn the trend line yet so go down to series and if you want to minimize this you can go down to series and uh, a little ways down here there's the trend line so this is a click on it. there's your line of best fit right there and of course you could do things like edit that you can make it thicker you could change the line color you know that kind of thing now um, the label here this is where you if you want to see the equation you can get the equation and maybe i'll click on the r squared too r squared here is 0.783 and if you haven't learned about uh, correlation coefficient um, the um, or are the R or the R squared? Um, it's a measure of how well the data fits to a line or whatever other. So you actually can change this to different uh, different kinds of curves of best fit. So for example, if you're you know into curves, exponential curves, you could change it to that. But we're talking about lines of best fit here, so I'll leave it on linear. Now this R squared number uh, varies between negative one and positive one, and the closer you are to uh, positive one the better correlation the data is uh, the closer it is to forming a straight line you can see there's some variation here some points are off the line some are pretty close like those ones so that's somewhat close to one so it is a pretty good fit to use a line of best fit to uh, to model the data but it's not perfect now here's the equation if we put that in y equals mx plus b form see it's not it's really just not giving you the y equals there so it would actually look like this it would be y equals and you see this means 19x so we type 19x and then it says plus negative 357 so I'll just type minus 357 so if you actually want the line of best fit um, equation uh, for this line of best fit here that's what it would look like so that's how you draw a, uh, a trend line or a line of best fit for data on Google Sheets. And that's the end of the tutorial.